Okay, this video is from Mark Merlin. He wants to see the whole kitten caboodle. Here she be. And I'll tell you a little bit about this. This clock was made in 1975 and was sold by Montgomery Ward. Still had the original instruction manual with it and it has the original owner's name on it. His name was Art Hengi Hengmel. I had to think about how to say that. <laughs> Which, yeah, this is a really pretty clock, as you can tell. It looks nearly perfect. Nearly. But it does have some flaws that I will point out. I can, for example, as you can tell, this door is pretty... Is a missing piece right there. And some missing here. And the door also drags too. But you can tell it has a wear mark right there from doing so all those years. <laughs> And let's see, what other flaws does this have? It's missing a screw way down in the bottom, which you can't tell right now. And the weights do have some wear on them. And let's see, what else? There's really not much wrong with it. <laughs> other than the moment could use a nice disassemble and clean. Which is... Uh, oh again, by the way, this has a Junk 77 movement, which as most of you know, is no longer produced. So you either have to get a Hermley replacement, or repair this one. I recommend the first. Just an opinion. And while I'm at it, I'll go and tell you about this New Haven that I shot earlier too. This is the New Haven Tambor number 50, made in about 1924. I was able to find it in a catalog. It was $16 when it was new. If you think about it, it was quite a bit of money for the average person. As you can tell, it's in nearly perfect shape, except for right there. And that is a fault of mine. So, yeah, but there's a dent right there, it's missing a little bit of paint, but considering that's a hundred years old, I can't complain about it. There's a few dents there, but no big deal. I mean, the thing is a hundred years old, so I'll give her a little slack. And here's the movement running. I'll show you the gong, which I have cleaned. And an interesting fact about the movement to this one. Is it has an extra stud to hook the mainspring on. That's just to keep it from expanding in the wrong direction. I've seen that before. As far as I know, New Haven was the only one that did it. Please correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm still learning about these things. But thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this.